right. So the next uh, part is we'll talk about like uh, I will try to give you some motivation uh, why you should study computer vision. And of course, like this is just uh, what I think uh, you can get motivated by many other factors as well. So the question is why you should study computer vision. So some reasons could be you find it interesting. You are curious, like how a computer vision works. It could be just a course requirement for you. And I think this is getting more important uh, recently, like uh, we have a very good job market out there for uh, computer vision. Now, let me try to give like some, some of the other aspects. Uh, so computer vision prior to 2012, mostly it was uh, done in academics. Uh, professors like researchers, they were doing research, trying to understand how we can make like these computers uh, see as humans, but it has changed and all the big AI or tech companies, uh, they are right now working on, not just working, they are doing research in computer vision, which is very, very interesting. So all of these companies, this is just a short list, but there are a lot of other companies out there, big companies, which are actually doing research. So, which is uh, actually quite motivating because then that opens up like, opens up a lot of job opportunities for uh, you as a student. And all this happened due to like emergence of deep learning. Uh, most of uh, you, I think, should be aware of uh, that. And that was caused due to the advancement in hardware, which we had. Um, so it started like around 2012. And these days we have like a lot of uh, these uh, different kind of resources. GPU is just one. We have like cloud storages and we have different like Amazon Web Services. We have like a lot of, lot of computing, like high, high powered uh, computing resources. and so that's one thing, the computation aspect. The second aspect is the availability of large scale data. Because a lot of this you will see is that uh, whatever advancement we have like done in, in recent years, data has played a very, very crucial role there. Because to develop those AI models, we need a lot of, lot of data. Because prior to 2012, people were trying to build classical uh, uh, algorithms for computer vision, and we will cover some of those as well. You will see how that is very much relevant. And their data was not really important. It was like more of a subject expertise or your insights. Uh, they, they played a very, very crucial role. But once we have data, we try to get insights from data itself. So it's called like data-driven learning. And these are like some list of uh, data sets which are a very, very large scale. Uh, we have ImageNet, I think this has 14, around 14 or 15 million images. We have open images, again, it's pretty huge. This YCC 100 million, the name says uh, there are around 100 million images in this data set. And this is coming from Flickr. And that was like snapshot uh, from 2014. And this one has roughly ar around uh, 1 million videos as well. Then we have YouTube 8 million. We have Kinetics Ava. So there's a long list. And these data sets are something which is actually uh, fueling this, uh, this research in deep learning and computer vision. Now, if you look at the, uh, the market of computer vision, this is just like a projection. Uh, it's starting from 2016, you can see. And this is like in terms of uh, millions in the, in the y-axis. And it's like projected, you can see 2015, it's, it's growing very, very rapidly. And it covers like all the three aspects, the software, the services, uh, and the hardware. So we mostly will be, I think, uh, interested in software because we are developing these AI algorithms. Services also play some, some role there because the services will be based on actually the software which we develop or the AI algorithms which we are developing. Okay. Now, another interesting aspect I would like to share with you is, uh, so what we do is when, when we do research, then we try to publish that work. And usually we do like, we do conferences or journals and CVPR like is a, is a top-notch conference in computer vision where we try to publish our papers and this is like one way to show that uh, why computer vision is uh, so important. Now, if you look into engineering, all the engineering areas, not just like computer science or computer vision, like everything, which we just covered under the umbrella of engineering, then this conference, which is called CVPR, it, it's actually top ranked among all of those. And this also covered like advanced materials, which is a very, very important topic, right? And these, I will, I will explain what these numbers are. And you can see like these numbers are way off very high as compared to these like third or fourth rank. And again, these are AI conferences, third and fourth. So this H5 index says how many papers you have in past five years, which have these many citations or more. And citations is something like when you publish a paper, then other people use your work 
and then do something else. Then they cite your work. So that's called citation. And each paper is counted as one citation. So it means that there are roughly 400 papers in this conference in the past five years, which have 400 citations or more. All right, so this signifies like how the field is uh, uh, rapidly growing in this in this area, and this is H five median. This is uh, again the same metric, but instead of like showing how many papers are about this, this is showing that all the papers which are more than this many citations, what's the median among those? So this is like close to six twenty seven. So there's a wide wide range there. So that was engineering, but another interesting thing you can see this is like all, all the research, not just engineering, right? And in this one, again, CVPR stands at four, which is quite interesting. And this includes like nature and science, all these top quality conferences and journals. Okay, so this is quite motivating. Uh, if you are interested in like pursuing computer vision as, as, as research in future, and that could be like an industry in academics and anyway. And this is just showing like a stats, uh, how it goes. I mean, it's not very easy to publish in uh, these conferences. This is like from past years, uh, the blue bar is showing like how many total papers were submitted. So in this, like it's close to 7,000. And this orange bar is showing you like how many were accepted. So the acceptance rate is like closely like 20, 25%. So it's pretty hard to get papers accepted in this uh, conference. Now, if you talk about like how popular this conference is, uh, recently, like due to COVID, we, we, we don't have like uh, many in uh, like a physical, uh, conference for this, I think 2020 and 2021. The last was 2019 and roughly, I think 10,000 people were present in that conference. So it was really, really huge. And this year, I think it was a hybrid format. And you can see like uh, in person still, I mean, there's COVID, but still 5,000 people attended and roughly 4,000 were attending virtually. Okay, and again, 8,000 papers were submitted, 2,000 uh, were, were accepted. So this, this, this gives, gives like an idea like uh, how popular this uh, thing is going to be. And it's you can see like this plot, it's it's growing up. And now I will briefly talk about what are the different applications where computer vision actually plays uh, an, an important role. So I will show you some uh, demo videos. Uh, you might have heard of like Amazon Go and computer vision in fact plays a very important role here. So If you look at this video, so you can just go into a store, uh, you have some kind of ID, you can scan it so that the store knows that, okay, you are present there, it will have all your details. And then you can just go there, pick up whatever you want, and you can just get out without paying anything, without scanning anything, right? So computer vision plays some uh, interesting role here. And of course, it's not just computer vision. There are a lot of other factors involved. We have different sensors which are used in the products. But like uh, analyzing when you're picking up something, who is picking up facial recognition, then tracking and all those are involved. So they are actually computer vision task. But this is, I think, uh, re really, really amazing. The other application uh, I want to show you is it's in again retail sector. So usually, what we do, we go to like a clothing store. We try it like different outfits, and we see what suits us, uh, what not. But what if like you don't have to do all that? You can just uh, stand like in front of a mirror, and it will it will do that for you uh, like automatically. You can just choose like what you want to wear, and it will show you like the the virtual world of that. So it, it makes your life easier. And again, computer vision is uh, playing a very important role here. Yeah, this is, I think, the one of the most important and most of you know this, like how self-driving car works. And there's a lot going on in there, like when you have like this self-driving mode, uh, it's, you, it's not just computer vision, again, there are like a lot of other things involved, a lot of other sensors, but computer vision again play a very, very crucial role here because you have like all these cameras set up uh, on the street. You try to identify like what, what's present in the, in the road, like if there are cars, how far they are, what's the speed, and then you, you have to identify the lanes and all that, right? So again, computer vision is enabling um, this kind of technology, which is, I think, very, very exciting. 
And again, like uh, autopilot from Tesla, it's almost uh, similar. We can skip this. So any questions on like the application aspect? 